Bermuda grass leaf spot is a disease that's caused by a fungus that primarily affects Bermuda grass, pastures, and hay meadows. This year, to the extra rainfall that we've received in July and August, I'm starting to get reports of Bermuda grass leaf spot in many pastures and hay meadows in East Texas. This fungus becomes an issue, especially when we have high moisture along with high temperatures, temperatures ranging 75 to 90 degrees in Fahrenheit, along with relative high humidity. That envir those environmental conditions really promote the fungus development in our pastures and hay meadows. Unfortunately, there are no fungicides that are labeled for pastures or hay meadows, so there's no products that we can legally use to control this issue in our pastures and hay meadows. So the only way to manage or to deal with the fungus is to avoid it by making some best management practices such as variety selection. Varieties such as Tipton 85, Coastal Bermuda grass, as well as Tipton 44 Bermuda grass are a little bit more resistant to this fungus issue compared to varieties such as Alicia Bermuda grass. Even though they are somewhat resistant, we can still have issues when our climatic conditions promote the development of the fungus. Other factors that we can employ to avoid fungus development are maintaining an appropriate thatch height. Um, extra thatch in a pasture or hay meadow can um, add to the moisture or hold moisture closer to the soil surface, really promoting those environmental conditions that promote fungus development. So being timely with our hay harvest as best to our ability, as well as removing any excess thatch with additional grazers or potentially taking a hay cutting off of a pasture can help to alleviate any potential symptoms of Bermuda grass leaf, um, leaf spot. Uh, we can also, other ways that we can reduce thatch cover is to burn any excess thatch during the dormant season in our pastures or hay meadows. We also need to make sure we're maintaining appropriate soil fertility, following soil testing, following those soil test recommendations, and specifically paying attention to our potassium levels, especially if we have very sandy soils in East Texas. Potassium deficiencies can unfortunately weaken our Bermuda grass, making our Bermuda grass much more susceptible to disease or funguses such as Bermuda grass leaf spot.